Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum. Today we'll be looking at the external genitalia or the vulva. The external genitalia or the vulva. You know, many people mistaking the external genitalia as the vagina. The external genitalia is not the vagina. What you are seeing there is the vulva. It is the inner canal that is the vagina. But what you see at the exterior part of the female is the vulva or the external genitalia. So the external genitalia, like I told us, can also be called vulva. Then this external genitalia or vulva, it helps in the in sexual arousement. That is sexual stimulation. That is one of the function. It helps in sexual stimulation. Then the second function is that it contains some gland that helps to secrete mucus during sexual intercourse or during foreplay. The glands help to secrete mucus that lubricates the vagina. Then the third function of the external genitalia is that it helps to protect the internal genitalia. You can see that it covers and protects the vagina and other internal genitalia. So these are the three functions of the external genitalia. Then let's look at the structure proper, the structure of the external genitalia. The first feature you will see in external genitalia is the mon mons pubis. You can see the mons pubis here. This mons pubis is a subcutaneous fat pad that is found in the in the anterior part of the pubic symphysis you remember the pubic symphysis so it is found in the anterior part of the pubic symphysis and it is formed by the fusion by the coming together of the two labia majora so that is it for the mons pubis so the next one is the labia majora you can see these two fold of skin these two hair bearing fold of skin they are called the labia majora and the labia majora as you can see starts from the mons pubis the both of them starts anteriorly from the mons pubis and run down posteriorly to end at the posterior commission so it ends at the posterior commission and it contains hairs then the third one is the labia minora. The labia minora is found within the labia majora. So as this is the labia majora, this one here is the labia minora. This is the labia minora. These two, they are two hairless fold of skin that is lying within the labia majora. And the labia minora starts from the clitoral hood, as you can see here, anteriorly, and it runs down to end at the, at the fochette posteriorly. So the fochette is kind of a, a fold of skin at the posterior part. It ends there. Then the third part of the external genitalia that you see is the vestibule is the vestibule this is the vestibule so the vestibule is the part of the external genitalia that the external urethral orifice and the external vaginal orifice opens into so that is it for the vestibule and we have the clitoris the clitoris is found under the clitoral hood this is the clitoral hood this is the clitoris this clitoris its function in uh, helping in sexual arousement. So during foreplay or during sexual intercourse, the clitoris helps in stimulating, in stimulation or sexual arousement. So that is it for the clitoris. Then there is another uh, feature known as the Bartholin's gland. The Bartholin's gland is found in uh, around the Vaginal orifice, external vaginal orifice is found there. And this Bartholin's gland has a dot. It secretes mucus through its dot. 
and this mucus helps in uh, lubricating the vagina during foreplay or during sexual intercourse. So that is it for the structures that are found in the external genitalia. Then coming to the blood supply, the arterial supply to the external genitalia is through the pudendal artery. Then the venous drainage is through the pudendal veins. So coming to the next supply to the external genitalia, the anterior part of the external genitalia is supplied by the ilioinguinal nerve and also the genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve. Then the posterior aspect of the external genitalia is supplied by the pudendal nerve. So that is it for the nerve supply. Then the lymphatic uh, drainage is through the superficial inguinal lymph node. So let's go over to the clinicals. The first clinical is batorinitis. Batorinitis simply means the infection or the inflammation of the batorin's gland. You remember the batorin's gland that helps in secreting the mucus. When it is infected, it is highly inflamed and it causes pain. Then this uh, can be managed or it can be treated by the use of antibiotics. So if it is not treated, it may spread to uh, other areas. The next one we have is the genital warts or vulval warts. They are benign tumors that grows on the epithelium and they can be caused by HPV types like type 6 and the type 11. And they are also surgery transmitted disease. So they can be transmitted from one partner to another partner. Then they, to prevent this, you can take HPV vaccines so as to prevent this. So at the end of this, you understand that the vagina is different from the vulva or the external genitalia. So we've come to the end of this teaching. I'll encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn with Chisum Great. Like this video, share this video to your friends, and comment on this video. Thank you very much.